Hey, welcome to Victims and Villains, where we create content like what you're watching right now, simply to educate and engage individuals like yourselves on mental health awareness and suicide prevention through pop culture. My name is Captain Nostalgia. I am one of the writers, podcasters, and uh, the director of our film festival called Horrific Hope. If you guys would like links to all of that stuff, including our mental health resource library podcasts and all of our social medias, all of that's going to be in the descriptions below. But I am joined by two names that if you're a fan of Mr. Freddy Cougar, you know these ladies. Uh, up top of me is, I don't know how this is coming out to the way you're seeing it, but I'm joined by Tuesday Night and Lisa Wilcox. They are here talking about their brand new movie, The Bloody Man. How are you doing today? Good. Yeah, doing good. So the so the, let's jump into the Bloody Man because uh, the Bloody Man is the is a brand new project that you guys are both teaming up for. Uh, I think your your interest it's, it, your dynamic in this movie is really interesting. Um, and before we kind of talk about that, I want to jump into uh, this film is really interesting because it crosses a lot of different uh, genres. There's a point in this where it feels like straight up like an 80s film. Um, it has a little bit of that uh, slasher feel to it. Uh, it's a little bit of like ghost story. Can you kind of talk about the process of uh, being a part of something that is so versatile in its creation? Um, hmm. Let's see. Um, what was that question again? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, I get, I know. It was like, where are we going? Well, I got the genre part. I mean, the element, so it's a ghost story. I also see, because of the kids, a stranger things element in this, right? A little bit. Yeah. Totally. And I think that um, Daniel uh, Benedict, the um, director, writer, anyway, I think in his lovely wife, Cassie, did a great job creating that 80s feel. I mean, the vehicle I'm driving, I don't know where the heck they found that thing, but it's, <laughs> it was a trip to drive it. And it really did feel, it was, and even the clothes and, and it does have, and I like it because what is it rated? Like a PG, PG-13? I think so. Yeah, I think it is. You know, so it's really like a movie that a whole, a whole family can watch, you know? Yeah. Um, it's not no, it's, like, it's not like, uh, 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 you know, it's, it doesn't, right. it's not like that. I think the only thing that's kind of hard for me and actually you, Lisa, you and I were talking about this is I gained weight for that role and to watch myself that way is the only thing I'm not liking about it. I love the movie. I think it's great, but I'm like, ah, oh my God, because we were talking about that. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. You? Yeah. Yeah. And I, well, like, I think oh, you did a great job though, honey. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, no, you did. I mean, it's fun to see all your transformations and stuff. It's a crack up. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that's one of the things that I, I really enjoyed about this uh, performance, too, is that you guys had there. You guys are so. Uh, yes, I have such an interesting dynamic in this one and uh, in prepped for this interview i went back and i rewatched uh friday four sorry nightmare four uh which is <laughs> um, wrong franchise wrong franchise that's your next uh, interview <laughs> that is okay. that is my next interview uh but uh in that that film there's kind of like this like passing of the torch um of kind of like one final girl to another and it kind of almost embraces that generations later with the bloody man to where uh you know notes where are my notes uh you know uh lisa you happen to play the you know the kid's original mother and tuesday you have you play the the stepmom and can you guys talk about kind of you know how you took on the motherly characters but like still made them your own and kind of different uh um you know, uh, I, I kind of stuck. I kind of stuck with what Daniel wanted um, for it, but um, I kind of with any role. I think um, I just always end up like doing it the way I feel because I want it to be realistic and I want to uh, be in the moment uh, and really listening to people. So I, um, 
I think I just, uh, I, I kind of just do my own thing in it, even though I've read it, I know what it is. I, you know, I, I somehow, I sometimes don't follow direction uh, on the paper that, that, you know, like she walks into the room, she cries. Um, maybe I don't want to cry there. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that. You kind of make it your own. I think, yeah. I think, yeah. yeah. And I think as actors, we do that. And hopefully, and usually you have a, a writer and or director that it wants your input and wants to make it your own and make it the best product that it can be, you know? And yeah. um, it's sort of like a template. The script is a template, but, um, but especially these days, like when we worked at network, you had to say every letter, every word perfectly, do exactly what you were like. I mean, it was very militant, right? They were very, very strict in the old days, but nowadays, the, you know, I would say the past, I don't know, half dozen films that I've done um, after coming back from a long break from acting, uh, they're, they're like, no, let's do some improv. Let's do, you know, yeah, yeah. you write, you know, they're more open to our suggestions, which is really awesome. And maybe it's because, you know, we've been acting for almost four decades now. So maybe there's a level of respect too. Uh, as far as our experience and what we can add to a project, you know? Yeah. So, and for me, my role, you know, I actually, I mean, it was pretty easy because I am a mom, I don't, you know, and, and so seeing the kids young like that, it was like, oh, I remember when my babies were young, you know what I mean? So it was, um, it was really nice. And it's, it, I haven't worked with many child act. The only child actor I think I've ever worked with was the little boy on um, Mr. Belvedere. So to work with these, with work with these kids, they're just so open and there's no ego and they're just so happy to be there. And it was such a great experience. I can't work to work with children again. They're just open, you know? Oh yeah. Well, that's how, I mean, that's how they are because they have no walls and barriers that we all build up, you yeah, know? They exactly. Tell, tell them what to do. And um, when I taught kids uh, acting, oh my God, it was amazing because I had an adult class and a and a and a child class, and the ones that the, the the kids were like the ones that were doing the better work. It was just they <laughs> they, they could just go there, you know. Right, they don't like you said, they had like no barriers. You know, they yeah. hadn't built up any barriers. That must have been really fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think in the in this movie too. I think uh, you know part of the uh, the amazing thing for me was I loved working with uh, with Daniel. You know. He was oh, also yeah. so he's so and cute. Cassie, they're they're uh, such a good team. Are they really yeah. are? And they're they, a good yin and yang. They really are. They really and they directed it really well. Like you know, together it was it was different. I never did that before. So it was, yeah, it was I hadn't either. But I, I but I liked it. I I I loved it. It was a it was a really lovely set to be on. Yeah. Too bad we couldn't have been there together at the same time. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. And that keeps getting brought up in the interviews and it's like, but at least we're in the same movie again. <laughs> <You know? laughs> how do you guys work together? I mean, how dynamic? I'm like, well, uh, she was there uh, a different week and dynamic was kind of uh, distant, but then good, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I think literally I was flying in the day you were flying out, you know? That's like we literally missed each other by an hour. <laughs> Yep. Nice. Yep. I know. Crazy. <laughs> now, Tuesday, we we spend the majority of uh, out of both of you, you have the the more screen time, and with that, you're kind of uh, taking on the. I don't want to quite say a bad guy role, but like to the eyes of of the protagonist, it is kind of that bad guy, uh, and. Can you kind of talk about the the mental health of the character of kind of always feel like you were constantly losing because you're not living up to expectations that uh, Lisa's character had set forth? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, yes, I never, you know, my my relationship with the with the kids was always like very strained uh, until the end of it. But um, it yeah, there was like something that she had laid the ground. And, um, you know, I was, I, I, at first I was trying to, uh, be the same way, have them like me, but then, you know, I can't, well, I don't, I don't know if I'm allowed to say what happens, 
but then after that, um, it kind of, that kind of disappears and I don't really give too much about it, you know, but, um, yeah, I was going to say, like, I don't want to like jump into it, but like, uh, you really get to like cut loose in here and, uh, just kind of getting to see what your, where your character goes in this movie was really enjoyable. Uh, how did you kind of tap into like the the headspace of, of that? It's, it's really hard to talk about without spoilers, but uh, yeah. kind of the, some of the, the acting challenges of uh, what the character possesses in the last act. Well, I really, uh, for me, I always have this thing about uh, not wanting to uh, be involved in films that like are, have devil possession, stuff like that. That really kind of freaks me out. I, I, I don't like that, but I kind of like, I kind of figured, okay, this isn't the devil. This is the bloody man. <laughs> so this is a different thing, um, you know, to get into. So I, I just sort of threw myself into it. Uh, you know, as much as I've seen villains, uh, you know, work before and, uh, you know, being around them, I mean, you know, it, it does help to kind of get you in that space. Um, I think you have to like let yourself go into an area that you're normally maybe not comfortable with, but you have to find something that, you know, pulls you in. And um, I think turning on the, on the kids was a big move because, you know, it, it, I'm very nice before that. So it was a, it was a big turn uh, and then I didn't care anymore. And then it just became about being, evil and doing things that were not good you know what i mean and trying to uh, manipulate and and just you know you know what those mean people mean creatures do <laughs> I, I think this film utilizes comedy really well too oh yeah uh, i i love how the last, the last frame kind of just brings back jeffrey carr's character uh -huh. and it's just kind of like the entirety of the, the film had never taken place because it's just like dads come home from like a long day at the office. Uh, what were you guys' first impressions of kind of the, the film's use of comedy? Um, I thought, I thought it was, I thought it was funny. I thought it was really good and, and uh, really well written. And, and uh I liked that it had that that little bit of that in there, like the principal. I mean, he's hilarious. That guy, um, <laughs> he's the guy with the wig, the whole thing. I mean, that, that guy's funny, and uh, I like that. I kind of like that in uh, in scary movies, like when you can like maybe laugh at a few things. Maybe if you don't even understand what you're really laughing at, but you kind of you know you go there. <laughs> yeah, I. I love the film has, it touches on so many different feelings and emotions. There's, there's comedy, there's scary, there's sentimental, there's, uh -huh. there, you know, it, it, it covers a whole range of, of uh, feelings and uh, which is what I think adds to why it's so well-written. Yeah. And then you and me at the convention that day, when one of the little boy who plays the lead boy yeah, came to our and came to my table, this is like three years later, and he says, hi, I'm David. And I'm like, yeah. David? He's like, bloody man. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. He was like 10 feet tall and looked like Jesus. He did, I mean, he had his long dark hair, uh, what, okay. mustache, and, and skinny, thin guy. <laughs> yeah. oh my, I was like, this is Sam? <laughs> yeah, voice you know deeper and the voice changed yeah it was it was pretty wild but i brought him to your table remember and i, I said, know and i'm like no you're pulling I my leg <laughs> i was like you're kidding me good one tuesday that's a good try and i was like and then he's like no really it's me sam i'm like what anyway I, that was great <laughs> it was totally fun yeah we well, got they were all I was just going to say they were all great too. The kids oh, were yeah. really natural and, and really, uh, you really, know, natural. really, really natural, took direction really well. Um, it was really fun. It was. 
Well, you guys can see the fun for yourself beginning July 7th. Uh, it is a, the Bloody Man is available on VOD. It is available uh, in select theaters and I believe DVD as well. Uh, so make sure that you guys check out Tuesday and Lisa wherever you guys get your movies from. Once again, ladies, thank you so much. Where can people find you online? Are you on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram? Yeah, Twitter um, uh, is just um, at at night twos is mine and uh the um the official tuesday night is my instagram and then my facebook is just my name yeah yeah my uh i don't i have a twitter account but i don't use it uh instagram the lisa wilcox i did not come up with that name the lisa wilcox whatever is the lisa wilcox <laughs> and, and it's like god and then uh, i do have facebook it's lisa wilcox or it's Lisa E. Wilcox, but I don't do Facebook that often. So Instagram's the best. But also my website is Lisa E. Wilcox.com. Lisa E. Wilcox.com. And I am work getting it updated for the rest of appearances I have this come the rest of this year too. And you can get autographs there and blah 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 blah. Anyway, but it's a good tool to get, you know, what's happening. But I post on yeah. Instagram too. Yeah. And Bye. I uh, they can you can also uh, do my website, which is just TuesdayNight.com. So, which I do have to update. I, <laughs> I know, I know, but we've been busy. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. And I just wanted to say, um, I love the your cause that you have. And if I may do a shout out for uh, an organization I believe very much in is um, NAMI, N A M I, National Alliance for Mental Illness. And you can actually, uh, we're all buying from Amazon, right? You can do Amazon Smile. It's still Amazon, but Amazon Smile, and then a percent will go to the organization of your choice. So it's cool. an easy way to support your charity or your organization. So anyway, check it out. I will. And Lisa, <laughs> are you, are you going to be home for a while? Today? Yeah. 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 Give me a call. I'm going to call you so we can chat. Yeah, you gotta catch up. I, I miss you and love you and I all miss that. you, love you, honey. Say okay, hi to your mom. I will. All right. <laughs> you guys have a great night. Thanks, okay. guys.